In this video we're going to show you 10 tips for filmmakers. So let's start. The first tip is, use your tripod as a dolly. To do this you have to extend two of the three legs only. It's that simple to turn a tripod into a dolly. Here you can see how you can do it. The second tip is about panning shots. Here's the video with a normal panning shot. And here's the video when using a rubber band. The only thing you'll need is a rubber band. Attach a rubber band to the handle of the tripod and you're done. Your video will look a lot smoother. The third tip is, use the sun as lighting in your video, it's free! The fourth tip is, warp stabilizer, here's a video without warp stabilizer and here's a video with warp stabilizer. Warp stabilizer is a plugin which comes with Adobe After Effects CS5.5 and above. It also comes with Premiere CS6. Warp stabilizer helps achieving a smooth shot so that the audience isn't distracted by your wiggly footage. In order to achieve the best results and not getting a distorted image, we need some extra space in the video. Shoot your video from a little bit farther than you usually do. The fifth tip is, always color correct your footage. You can find a lot of tutorials online on how to correct your colors. After Effects has several options to change your colors, such as curves, hue saturation and levels. You can also use programs specially designed for color grading and correction. For example, Speedgrade, which is another Adobe product. The sixth tip is use background music. Here's a video without background music. And here's a video with the background music. Seventh tip is using sound effects. Here's a video without sound effects. And here's the video with sound effects. The sound effects and the music are 30% of the video. It isn't enough when you have a nice image only. Choose music which will suit the tension. For example, don't use funny sounds when someone's being chased. It will give the wrong feeling. The A tip is about the fig rig. If you want a stable image, it's better to buy a fig rig or make one yourself. You can find a guide on how to make one on Indie Moguls channel. 
If you want a professional one, you can find one on eBay or Amazon. Now some examples from IndieMoggle. The ninth tip is use a clapper. If you're shooting a big project, it's sometimes hard to tell which shot you are seeing. When using a clapper, you can easily tell which of your shots you're looking at. It also helps with the editing of the sound. Use it as a reference point to synchronize your sounds. The first box is meant for the scene. The second box is meant for the take. And the third box is meant for the roll. The tenth tip is use a call sheet. If you're producing a big project, it can come in handy to use something to write down your ideas, the roles, the scenes, the dates and what you'll need for the shoot. These were our 10 tips. Leave a comment with your opinion and subscribe if you haven't already. If you liked the video, you can press like down here. And if you don't like the video, here's what you can do. Click the PayPal link down below and donate. If you have received a thousand euros within the next month, we will stop making videos. Sounds good, right? Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.